Hi, how are you? very good. Greg, yes. nice to meet you. Yeah. I'm Erin, who is this little one? This is Adrian, our little daughter. She's... Are you a helper? Yeah. So yeah. today is uh, loading day, yeah? Yes, it is. Yep. Nice, yep. the truck for, is here. Yep, for the Mainers Feed Mainers, for right. Good Shepherd Food Bank. Yep. Well, I'm yep. here to help. Yeah, so all right. Let's go. Sounds good. <laughs> I'm uh, Greg Jordan, and uh, this is Jordan Farms in Chester, Maine. I'm 33 years old and I've been farming here basically my whole life. We have about 200 acres of land, but we have 60 acres of vegetables, potatoes, corn, and squash. Then from that we break down into like cucumbers, string beans, peas, zucchini, summer squash. Well, my grandpa always used to joke and say, if it grows, we have it. So, <laughs> but yeah, we have it. We try to do a little bit of everything. When we had that first year farming and we was, had that big potato crop, I ended up calling the Good Shepherd and they, they purchased the potatoes off us for, to, to use for the Good Shepherd. It's great, yeah, it's a great partnership. The work itself's rewarding anyway, but then to be able to send it out where it affects so many other people's lives. and Farming for me is like in my blood and it's, it's important for me to just be able to stay here and do this if no more than for the fact that my kids can experience the childhood I had. You know, we try to be active in the community. We donate amongst the community too. And yeah, it works because everybody supports it totally. When I was a little kid just farming here, I thought it'd be the coolest thing to be able to load a truck and have it go and just go all over the place. It really is, it's a dream come true. I take a lot of pride in the fact that it, it's reaching out so far, you know. On this Thanksgiving, I'm thankful for probably most of all my family and the support that they've given me, for, you know, in this journey of taking on the farm and to be able to take the rewards of the farm and be able to share it with other people. So how many bags are, how many pounds is this? This is 50 pounds. We put 2,000 pounds on a pallet, so it's 40 bags. Today they're taking four pallets, so 8,000 pounds. And how do you like your potatoes cooked? <laughs> Baked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, yeah. let's follow this uh, All right. bag. Jordan's living work in Maine. And she's going to a good spot. Yeah. My main life is teaching my kids the importance of hard work and good ethics and just spending as much time as we can outside working with the land and providing for us and for others. So welcome to Good Shepherd Food Bank's Hamden Distribution Center. It's our newest building. Uh, we've added this new facility to complement our Auburn headquarters to help us better serve the state, particularly here in the northern, central, and down east region. Um, nearly 14% of the population in Maine is food insecure, one in five kids, so it's really a, a severe problem. So our job is to um, source and distribute food to more than 400 partners across the state, to food pantries, shelters, meal sites, schools, and even healthcare centers to help the food insecure people here in Maine get the food they need to thrive. Yeah, so currently the food bank provides about 25 million meals each year across the state. We anticipate that we need to provide an additional 8 to 10 million meals per year on top of what we're already doing. This facility actually has room in both the dry and cold storage to um, hold an additional 10 million meals per year. So you just met Dennis, one of our fantastic truck drivers who helps 
bring food all across the state. He was at the farm picking up produce and bringing it back here. Uh, and then loading up more food that will go out into the community. So on top of our more than 70 employees across the state, we also rely heavily on volunteers to help us do our work. Um, each year we have about 21,000 hours worth of volunteer time spent um, helping us sort food, inspect food, and pack it into boxes and bags to go out into the communities. So the Manors Feeding Manors program has really transformed how we do our work as a way of sourcing local fresh produce and getting more healthy nourishing food into our communities. And so um, our program manager, Nancy Perry, helped launch Mainers Feeding Mainers in 2010. Um, and we've grown now to the point where we work with more than 70 farmers across the state. Um, now they're contributing about 2 million pounds of fresh produce each year. The Mainers Feeding Mainers program allows us to purchase food from farmers and give them a really fair price for the product that they're providing us. And we've found that as much as we buy from the farmers, they donate um, j about just as much. So um, we're getting a lot of beautiful, fresh Maine produce. Drivers like Dennis bring the produce here and we um, get it out into the communities. So a perfect example of how our Mainers Feeding Mainers program works is a farmer like Greg and Chester grows potatoes and other crops for us. We go and pick it up by the tractor trailer load, bring it here to Hamden, where we can then get it out into manageable quantities to the food pantries like in Bar Harbor, where they're then re receiving fresh, um, beautiful produce to serve the people there in their community. In our neighborhoods and in our schools, there are people that we know who are struggling with hunger. And Mainers Feeding Mainers is just one of the ways in which we feel really great about providing healthy, nourishing food, and at the same time, investing in solutions that could help solve the problem long term. We invest more than $700,000 each year um, in our Mainers Feeding Mainers program, spending those dollars in our agricultural economy. And so we feel really great about the fact that we are helping our farmers grow their businesses and provide healthy, nourishing food so that everyone benefits in the end. You want to tell us where you're going? I'm going to buy Haber. All right. On my way. See you in a bit. This is what we do, and it's so great to have volunteers here to help unload all this great produce we can get. We here at the Bar Harbor Food Pantry serve all of Hancock County, so you can live anywhere in Hancock County and come to our pantry. And we're serving about 420 households at this time for this year. We increase about 20 households each year since I've been here. And I think there's a lot of moving parts as to why we're seeing that pressure here at the pantry, SNAP benefit changes, as well as low wages, uh, housing is an issue here within the Hancock region, um, so just a lot of stressors. Our two largest um, users for the pantry are fixed income elderly, as well as working families that are just not making enough, but are here, you know, trying to feed their kids healthy foods. We order from Good Shepherd every month. We get the majority of all of our dry goods from them. We get this amazing produce selection from them. Uh, we love Mainers Feeding Mainers here at the pantry because it really just um, extends our season for offering local produce to our clients. We also love it because it really gets our clients trying new vegetables that they might have never bought at the store or couldn't afford to buy at the store. And it's such a myth that they don't want to eat healthy. They really do. I can't keep enough produce in stock here at the pantry. And I just think Mainers Feeding Mainers is so important because it is investing in our farmers, that dollar staying local in our economy, that food is getting grown here with a lot of love and care and is going to people that are food insecure that really want that healthy food and we're, you know, it's great. It's a pretty lively place here. Um, we'll see about 40 households on average every open hour and we're open, you know, every week of the month. And you know, we've got great volunteers that are on the freezers and fridges helping people, great volunteers here talking with our clients about how to cook things or what they tried with it. And it's just a really happy place and um, very community centered. 
I think personally how Mainers Feeding Mainers is helping all over Maine is it's also keeping farmers still farming. We have young farmers that want to keep farming because of great programs like this. We are open Tuesday mornings from 9 to 12 and Thursday evenings from 4 to 6. And we are a warm, welcoming place. You can come in, you can sign right up. Um, we don't need any proof of anything. We're here to help anyone that is feeling pressure to put healthy food on their table. Bye, Jenny. Thanks Bye. So much. Thanks. We'll see you next month. Okay.